Hey, welcome to another eWeb tutorial. We're going to make a cash balance sheet. This is going to be a two part series. We've got to do this in two parts. We've got a lot to go over. We're going to go over a lot of Excel basics in this one. Okay, let's start by, let's start in cell B5. All right, when you work with Excel, you're always working in a specific cell. So here's row five and column B. We're going to start here. We're going to start naming some household items uh, that we would pay for on a monthly basis. Let's go house payment. I want this long one in there for a reason. You'll see why in a second. Uh, let's say car. And let's say uh, gas and electric. You can add as many as you want to this. Uh, let's say long one. Okay, for sake of time, we're going to do this. Now, if you notice, uh, that didn't fit very well in our, in our cell there. So what we want to do is this. We want to right above one, you'll see there's a little corner. I want you to click one to left click one time, right be in that little corner slot right between before the A above the one. Then I want you to slide right and go right between the A and B, and I want you to double click. Now, what you just did is you right size now your cell, so the wording inside will fit inside the cell. It looks a little little neater and it's a little easier to work with for you. So now going across the top, let's type in January. Let's click out of the cell, then click back into the cell. You notice how the box goes around and then you have a little square? Let's drag that square just straight across. Let's keep it all in column three and stop when you get to December. Okay, so now a little forethought here. Let's left click on D, then I want you to right click on D, then I want you to click insert. Then I want you to do the same thing going down F, left click, then right click, insert. H, left click, right click, then insert. Like a little musical here, right? Left click, right click, insert. L, left click, right click, insert. N, left click, right click, insert. When we're, when we're dealing, let's keep on going. When we're, when we're dealing with uh, the letters and the numbers on the far side, those are the column and row numbers and they are infinite. They go, uh, they go forever. So whatever I'm doing to this is happening all the way through my sheet. Okay, so whenever I'm dealing with, when I'm clicking on that letter above, like the, I'm clicking on V, doing the insert, and then I've got one more to go down here, and then let's do the X, and click, and then insert. Okay, so now, let's go all the way back. Let's grab the cell, uh, B3, and then just I'm left clicking and I'm just dragging my mouse all the way across. And I want to go all the way across to cell, cell Z. Okay. Now, now I want to right click inside of the cell. Right click inside once you have that, once you have that table created. Right click, and I want you to go to format cells. Alright, and then you see tabs are on the top, select the border tab. Then I want you to just click a square. You'll see the word text in there four times. Make a square around the word text. Then let's separate it so you have text on two sides. You have text, two text, and then two text, and then we click one more. Now we have texts in each box. And then click OK. Now you just defined a grid for us to work in. Alrighty, so let's add total up here. Okay, uh, let's just put let's put actual and total. And let's whenever you're working with a spreadsheet, let's work with some fictitious numbers. So let's just start. I'll just put in seven hundred. Um, I'll put in eight hundred. And I'm lazy. I'll grab those two numbers and let them fill in. 900 to 1,000. Okay. Now, I want to go and click now that cell C4. There's nothing there. Then we're going to hit the Epsilon button, which is the Auto Sum button. That E is the Epsilon. Now, when I have the cursor flashing between the, between the two parentheses, it's looking for me for cells to highlight. All right, so I'm going to give it some cells right here. And we're adding this to our sum formula. So this formula is a, just going to add up everything from cell C8 to cell 
C, C5. We're going to add all those up. We're going to hit enter now. And there's your total. Now, I don't have to do that for each one. Actually, I just want to take that and I want to go and uh, let's take that all the way over. We're going to drag that right in that column, that row four, right all the way to the end to column Z. And now, whatever I type in, these columns will add up. So if I put two and a two here, hopefully I'll get a four up top. And I do. Okay. And then let's do one last step before we go on to part two. Let's grab our whole table. So we're gonna we're gonna just grab right here at column B3 and pull all the way across. You're holding your left click down while you're pulling across, and then you're letting go, and then I am there's a bunch of ways to copy. I I do it the easy way here. I like to hit control C. And then or you can just do a copy any way you know how to copy. And I'm gonna go down to cell 14. Uh that's B14, and I'm gonna hit control V. Okay. That's all we got for part one right now. I'll see you guys around the corner. Catch you at part two. Then we're going to jazz this thing up a little bit, all right? I'll talk to you later. This is Kevin, eWeb Tutorial, How to Make a Balance Sheet Part 1. Let's go to Part 2 to finish this up.